twin is easier for Mammy to understand. He likes church as much of a science geek as he is. He doesn't understand the Bible the way that I do. He's been an altar boy since he was eight. Could quote the New Testament in Spanish and English since he was ten. Lead discussions of Bad's Bible studies even better than the priestess. No disrespect to Father Sean. He even volunteered at Bible camp this summer. And now that school started, he'll miss eh, the stations of the cross dioramas his campers made. From the popsicle sticks. The stick figure drawings of Mary in the manger, the mosaic made of marbles that he hung in the window of our room. The one that I threw out this afternoon while I was cleaning. Watched it fall, fall between the fire escape grates. For a second, I caught the sun in a hundred colors until it smashed against the street. I'll apologize to Twin later. Say it, say it was an accident. He'll forgive me. He'll pretend to believe me. Among us! It's only the first week of 10th grade, and high school is already a dang mess. In 9th grade, you were in between. A little longer in junior high, but still treated like a kid. In 9th grade, you were always frozen between trying not to smile or cry. Until you learn no one cares about what your face does, only what your hands will do. I thought 10th grade would be different, but I still feel like a lone shrimp. In a stream where too many are searching for something with a soft shell to peel apart and crush. Today I already had to curse a guy out for pulling up my bra strap. <laughs> then shoved a senior into a locker for trying to whisper into my ear, Big body joint, they say. We know what girls like you want. And I'm just disgusted at myself for the slight excitement that shivers up my back. At the same time, I wish my body could fall into the tiniest corner for me to hide in. How I feel about attention. If Medusa was Dominican, I had a daughter. I think I'd be her. I look and feel like a myth. A story distorted, waiting for others to stop and stare. Dead girls that spring like fireworks off my scalp. A full mouth pressed hard like razor's edge. Lashes that are too long so they make me almost pretty. If Medusa was Dominican and had a daughter, she might wonder at this curse, and how her blood is always becoming some fake hero mission. Some time to be slayed, conquered. If I was her kid, Medusa would tell me her secrets. How is it that her looks stop men in their tracks? Why they still keep on coming? How she outmaneuvers them when they do? When it catches me looking, Twin pretends to clean his glasses on his shirt. When the game is over, the Dykeman team won. They shuffle away with the crowd. But just as we get out the gate of the one ball players, a young dude our age stops in front of me. Saw so you looking at me kind of hard, Mammy. Dang it! I recently have been able to stop looking at the drug dealers, the ball players, random guys on the train. But although I like to look, I hate to be seen. All of a sudden, I'm aware of how many boys on the ball have stopped to stare at me. I shake my head in the ball player and shrug. Twin grabs my arms and begins pulling me away. The ball steps to Twin. Oh, is this your girl? It's a lot of body. It's a lot of body. For someone as small as you to handle, I think she needs a man a little bigger. When I see the smirk, his hand cupping his crotch, crotch, I can break from Twin's grip, ignore Gary Dad's and take a breath and step until I'm right in Homeboy's face. Home, homie! 
What makes you think you can handle me? When you couldn't even handle the ball. I suck my teeth as the smile drops off his face. The dudes around us start hooting and hollering in laughter. I keep my chin up high and shoulder my way through the crowd. After. It happens when I'm at bodegas. It happens when I'm at school. It happens when I'm on the train. It happens when I'm standing on the platform. It happens when I'm sitting on the stoop. It happens when I'm turning the corner. It happens when I have to forget to be on guard. It happens all the time. I should be used to it. I shouldn't get so angry when boys and sometimes grown boy when grown men talk to me. They want. They think they can grab themselves and rub against me. They make all kinds of offers, but I've never used to it. And it takes me in my hands shake. Makes me my throat tight. The only thing that calms me down after twin and I get home is to put my headphones on and listen to Drake. To grab my notebook and write and write and write all the things I wish I could have said. Make poems for the sharp feelings inside. That fear like they could carve me wide open. It happens when I wear shorts. It happens when I wear jeans. It happens when I stare at the ground. It happens when I stare ahead. It happens when I'm walking. It happens when I'm sitting. It happens when I'm on my phone. It simply never stops. I'm on a okay. Twin asked me if I'm okay, and my arms don't know which one they want to become, a beckoning hog or a falling anvil. And my twin see it on my face. This love and distaste I feel for him. He's older by a whole 50 minutes, and a guy but never defends me, doesn't know... Doesn't he know how tired I am? How much I hate to have to be so sharp and, and, and tongued and heavy-handed. He turns back to the corner and I quietly clicks away. And neither of us have to say, we are disappointed in each other. When I was little, I loved mass. The clinging tambourines and guitar. The church ladies singing hymns to make real rhythms. Everyone in pews holding hands and clapping. My mother tough at home would cry and smile during Father Sean's mangled Spanish from Miss Ramon's. It just felt like Father Sean started talking to the scriptures that everyone inside me feels like a, a two-fold, two-dirty kitchen sink. When I'm told girls, oh, shut up, shut up, I'm too old, I wait to stop to obey. When I'm told not to be like Delilah, Lot's wife, Eve, when I'm the only girl I'm supposed to be, was impregnated a virgin, who was probably scared, bruh. When I'm told, and I fire, all the life will hold for me. When I look around the church, and none of the depictions of angels, or Jesus, or Mary, not one of the disciples, look like me. More than that, big and angry, when I'm told to have faith in the Father Sean of men. And the man of the first ones to make me feel so small. That's when I feel like a fake, because I nod and I clap, and amen and hallelujah. All the while, feeling like this house, his house, is no longer what I want to rent. <clears throat> Not even close to haikus. Mammy's back, his coat hanger, her anger have made me of the heaviest wool. It must keep her so hot. Mira muchacha, when it's time to take off the body of Christ, don't you have her up the out again? But I can hold back my like a coat hanger too. Straight and stiff and unbending, beneath the weight of her hard glare. I want to take the bread and wine, and Father Sean says it should always be done with joy. Mammy gives me a hard look. I stare straight ahead. It's difficult to say who's won this round. Holy water. I just don't know about this girl. Mammy loud whispers to Pappy. They never think that Twin and I can hear but since they barely say two words to each other unless it's about us or dinner, we're always listening when they speak, and these flimsy Harlem walls barely, barely muffle any sound. Recently she's gotten all kinds of devils of sir. 
they, they probably come, come from come, come from you. I've talked to Padre Sean, and he said he'll talk to her at confirmation class. And I want to tell Mammy, Father Sean talking to me won't help. That incense makes bow tie parcel of my belly. That all the lit candles making like fingers that want to clutch around my throat. And that I don't understand or God anymore. I hear Papa push. Oh no. It's that age teenage girls are overexcited. Puberty changes their mind. Son Lucas. And since Papa knows more about girls than she does, she stays silent as his reply. I don't know if it's prayer to pump that soon my feelings will die, drown me faster than the church baptismal water.